So in section 6.2, we'll start factoring a trinomial, which means three terms, for a quadratic, which is a constant times x squared plus a constant times x plus a constant. So we're actually talking about factoring quadratics. Quadratics. A quadratic would be, an example of a quadratic would be 5x squared plus 2x minus 7. So the degree of the polynomial is 2. And in this particular case, there are three terms. So how do I factor? Here's a quadratic x squared plus 9x plus 2. So what I want you to notice is that for what we're looking at right now, the coefficient in front of the x squared is a 1. The coefficient in front of the x squared is a 1. So what we're going to do is look at this last term, that's c. Here a is 1, b is 9, and c is 20. On the side, we're going to list all the factors of positive 20 all the numbers multiply together that give us 20 and we're going to stop when those two factors add up to 9. So 1 times 20, those don't add up to 9. <clears throat> 2 times 10, those don't add up to 9 and you'll be using your calculator for these for some of the ones where you don't know the factors very well. Does 3 go into 20 evenly? No. 4 times 5. And guess what? 4 times 5 equals 20. But 4 plus 5 equals 9. So what that means is that the two numbers I want to use are 4 and 5. What am I going to do with that 4 and 5? I am going to replace my middle term with what it's equal to. Bring down the x squared. I'm not going to put 9x. I'm going to put 4x plus 5x. I'm replacing the middle term with what it's equal to. I found the numbers I want, 4 and 5. So 9x is equivalent to 4x plus 5x, and then bring the plus and bring the 20. I've just created a four-term polynomial. What do you do with four-term polynomials? You break them into two groups. Of x squared plus 4x, I'm going to factor out an x. Put in my parens. And when I factor out an x from x squared, I get x. And when I factor out the x from 4x, I get plus 4. So I'm really looking for an x plus 4 over here. If I don't get an x plus 4, I've done something wrong. So now I'm going to these two terms. And what's the GCF of 5x and 20? What number goes evenly into 5? x and 20, and that would be a positive 5. When I factor out a 5, I'm left with x plus 4. Do a little check. x times x is x squared. x times 4 is 4x. 5 times x is 5x. 5 times 4 is 20. And I'm very happy because I have my x plus 4 is common to both terms. So I'm going to pull out the x plus 4, which means my other factor is x plus 5. And you definitely want to check these all the time by doing FOIL. What does x plus 4 times x plus 5 equal? First, x times x is x squared. Outside is positive 5x. Inside is positive 4x. And last, 4 times 5 is 20. And combine your middle terms. 5x and 4x is 9x. Is that what I started with? 
Yes, it is. So I've just checked my answer. So you're going to try practice one. Let's look at classroom example two. Okay, my C term is 33. I want numbers when they're multiplied together give me a positive 33, but when they are added together they give me a negative 14. So this means they must be two negative numbers because if I want them to be multiplied to a positive, they both numbers have to be negative. So negative 1 times negative 33 would be 33, but those don't add up to negative 14. Does 2 go in evenly into 33? No. What you're going to do on your calculator is you do 33 divided by 2. If it's not a whole number, if it comes up with numbers after the decimal, you know that it's not a factor. How about 3? On your calculator, 33 divided by 3, you're going to see 11. So you go, sure, negative 3 times negative 11 are going to equal 33. But we've just hit the jackpot because negative 3 and negative 11 multiply the 33. But added together, they add to negative 14. So they are the two numbers. I'm looking for. What am I going to do with that negative 3 and negative 11? I'm going to replace my middle term. I'm not going to write negative 14x. I'm going to write negative 3x minus 11x and then bring down the plus and the 33. And I have just created a four-term polynomial. Factoring out the GCF of x squared minus 3x, I'd factor out an x, and I'm going to get x minus 3. I really want an x minus 3 over here, which now as I look at these two terms, if I factor out a negative 11, I'm going to get x minus 3. Let's do a little check. x times x is x squared. x times negative 3 is negative 3x. Negative 11 times x is negative 11. Negative 11 times negative 3 is positive 33. And so I do have x minus 3 is a common factor and the other factor is x minus 11. That's my answer. But we're going to check it. We're going to check it using FOIL you always want to check your answer, especially you can find your own sign errors. First, x times x is x squared. Outside, x times negative 11 is negative 11x. Inside, negative 3 times x is negative 3x. And last, negative 3 times negative 11 is positive 33. And combine your middle terms. 11 minus 3, negative 11 and negative 3 is negative 14. Is that what I started with? Yes, it is. So it checks. So you go ahead and try practice 2. All right, and for classroom example three here, the variable is named y, but that's okay. <clears throat> On the side here, we're going to find the factors of 15 that add up to 6. 1 times 15, they don't add up to 6. 2 doesn't go into 15 evenly. 3 times 5, they don't add up to 6. 4 does not go into 15 evenly. And I already have the 5, so I can stop finding my factors of 15. 
there are no two numbers that multiply together that give me 15 that when they're added together give me 6. So what that means is this polynomial cannot be factored. This polynomial is prime. There are not two factors multiplied together that will give me that polynomial. And that's uh, sometimes, sometimes your polynomials will be prime.